Let's look at the construction of one special detail of the house, which is this eyebrow dormer. This is a, a detail that we wanted to make the family entrance of the house, which is here, the drive through, to have some importance and draw your eye to it and really be welcoming, but not have it be overly grand or sort of overstated. And I think it's a balance we've achieved, but to make it look effortless and look easy, um, it's a little bit complicated. So let's get into it. There's some things going on that, that uh, require some attention to detail to really make this curve just sort of continue to make the um, curved pieces of crown molding continue and make the roof and just sort of flow over. This is the sheet of uh, construction details that we generated to construct the uh, this eyebrow dormer. We start with a three-dimensional view to make sure that we're really communicating and this ends up being something that uh, even in the field the uh, contractors are really looking at. So this kind of helps communicate that the crown molding is flowing up and over, this has to all coordinate with the stonework and the decorative arch pieces, and then the pieces that are fabricated in the field. In this view, we're communicating sort of the precise radius and so forth. So we have an 11 foot radius that comes to this tangent line, and then a 26 feet and change radius that goes the rest of the way, another match line, and so forth. And then here's a section of views showing how the roof is going to ride from the lowest part of the arch to the higher part of the arch and sort of just make this effortless curve kind of up and over and back down again. So starting down here, riding up at this slope, and then back down again on the other side to that slope. curve is in place and it's ready to put the roof rafters sort of tapering and curving up and over it. And it's papered and the curved plywood is on. Junior and John Richard are discussing how to apply the, the, the roof slates so that they uh, vary in exposure and you can see what's going to start to happen is that they'll be just slightly different each one than the next. Here they're starting to go on. I think they did a really nice job of making the taper and the exposure blend so that in the end you get this effect which is a real effortless and nicely constructed uh, variation so that it just looks like a beautifully and naturally made curve. So here's the roof finished in February and I think it really turned out like the original intention and I'm very pleased with everyone's work and the way that it turned out.